back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Samantha and here on my channel I do all kinds of mommy lifestyle videos. So if you are new I would love to have you subscribe and be a part of my YouTube family here. Today's video is going to be what I got my kids for Christmas. And Santa already um, dropped off his gifts that he is going to give the kids as well. So we are going to jump right on into this. I have a seven-year-old boy, a five-year-old boy, a two-and-a-half-year-old boy, and a nine-month-old baby girl. So that is who is getting all these presents. <laughs> so I just wanted to mention that really quickly in case you are new to my channel. So we're going to start out with Hazlyn first, but I did want to also mention that I will leave a link below for anything that I can and also... Um, we are doing something new this year. I was a little bit conflicted, so I was trying to figure out what we were gonna do from now on. So we're doing something a little bit different this year. There's a couple categories. We're doing Santa gift, um, something they want, something they need, something to wear, something to read slash game, um, and then something to make. One of these items I don't have. I think everything else I have, um, but, and then a couple things are a little bit too big, so I'm gonna insert pictures. But like I said, I'll leave a link below for everything. And yeah, let's get started, you guys. So for my daughter, Hazelyn, like I said, she's nine months old. Um, Santa is going to be bringing her a Fisher Price car. I asked you guys um, about this on my Instagram. And I got so many mes messages saying that you guys love this thing it's for your kids. So she is getting this pink Fisher Price car um, that I think she's going to love. And this is what Santa is bringing her. And it was pretty in inexpensive. And it's so cute oh my goodness I think she's gonna love it so that is what she is getting from Santa um, the next thing for her want category I put this macrame swing um, it is from Amazon this is something we're getting her um, or we got her and it is so cute she absolutely loves to swing and I just thought it was so precious and I'm either gonna put it in her room or I'm gonna put it on the front porch I haven't decided yet but I think she's gonna love it so something she needs um, I don't really know if this, th these things are not really needs. It's just something that's useful, I guess. But she is going to be getting this um, Minnie Mouse silicone plate that you can easily store. And my friend Nicole from Hello Happy, she shared this. And I was like, I need to get that for Hazlyn. So she's getting this. It's um, three different sections. Like I said, it all snaps. Um, it's so cute. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look how cute this is. Like, it is so cute. So it looks like this and then the inside is like all silicone it pushes out to make it like deeper and stuff it is just adorable and anything girly I'm all about for her which I didn't think I would be but I am so I'm gonna do it while I can in case she doesn't like these things so the next thing I got her which is actually something that's gonna be great for the diaper bag are these this is also in the need category because I think we do need something that is gonna work for um, just like on the go because we're always on the go and just she needs things. So these are like silicone suction dishes. Um, this one like has a little crown. It's so cute. Um, but anyway, you can like put them together like this for easy storage in your diaper bag. Um, and then you can also just have it like this. And this is super small, but it's just enough that like I don't have, we don't have to put her food on the table at a restaurant or on a plate at the restaurant because she will totally knock it off those um placemats that you like rip off and you tape to the table she rips those right off so i was looking for something else and i found these and so she is going to get these um actually i think somebody recommended these to me oh you know who i think recommended these to me um perpetual mommy i'm pretty sure she recommended these so yeah I'm, i got those for her for hazlyn's um wear category i did get her a pink poncho which i forgot to grab and it's in her room and she's asleep so it's basically a pink poncho i actually shared this on my um actually i'll insert a clip of it if i can um right here but it's so cute it's cat and jack it's from target i got actually got her a ton of clothes but she's already wearing them she needed to get into her new clothes so she's already wearing them plus she has no idea like the difference between christmas like she has no idea with christmas so she's gonna get plenty of gifts on christmas day but i did get her that poncho and then i got her a bunch of other clothes like i said that she's already wearing and i also got her these cute little boots from old navy they look like this She's already been wearing these too, but they're like a blush pink with sparkles. They're really easy to get on and she actually can't get these off or she hasn't been able to yet. Um, but they're just so cute. She has like little Uggs that were given to us by somebody, but they pop off all the time. These ones, they stay on. So, ooh. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyway, I highly recommend these from Old Navy. They were really inexpensive. I want to say they were like $8 or something. So since Hazelyn doesn't have any clothes, this can be her wear um, item. But So I got her this Skip Hop, Skip Hop backpack on Amazon. It was $10. Um, I don't know why it was on sale so much, like why it was so cheap. But I came across it and I just grabbed it because I was like, she's going to need a backpack. And also we do co-op, which is um, basically our whole family goes to school once a week as a family. I'm in the nursery with Hazlyn. The boys like go to their classrooms with other kids. Um, but anyway, she like needs, I need a backpack for her because when we go to co-op, I only have her and like sometimes I have to leave the room and I go on like mom's break or I have to go help people. So I want to be able to have her own bag with like wipes and diapers and snacks. She needs like a ton of food when we go there. She needs toys, lots of toys when we go there because we're there for four hours and she's in a nursery and, um, it's not really like baby friendly. So I have to bring her a lot of things. So this is a Skip Hop backpack. It is so cute. Gunner actually has one that was Brantley's and they, these things last forever because Brantley is seven and his is still holding up. And like I said, Gunner's using it. So um, I just got her this unicorn one. Like I said, it was really inexpensive. And my sister-in-law is gonna make her a glittery black uh, like vinyl for her name. So I'm gonna put her name here, Hazlyn, in black like glitter. So anyway, yeah, got that for her. Okay, so the next category for Hazlyn is something to read. I got her two things for this category. I actually got her this book, which is um, The Wonderful Things You Will Be. I thought I wanted this book for the longest time for the kids. So I'm excited to have this one in our book collection. I think it's just going to be an awesome story. Um, and then I wanted to get her something else. So I also um, got her this little musical thing that I think she's really going to like. The xylophone. It has the hammer, the balls, this thing, and then you put the balls in there. Um, so anyway, I just thought this was like a really good toy for her. It's all wood. It says on here, imagination and creativity, social skills, self-discovery, problem solving, physical skills, and fine motor skills. I am a big fan of wooden toys. Um, so I just wanted to get this for her. And I honestly think Gunner will like this too. But it says 12 months plus, so... Anyway, I think Gunnar will like this too, but whatever. We do music here like every single day. Um, if you are new, I homeschool. And so we do music all the time here. Um, we have like ukuleles, guitars, drums, like everything. So I just know that she'll love having this. So last but not least for her make item, um, her categories are a little off because she's a baby. But anyway, for her make item, I actually had something made and it was this bow holder. It's not here yet. It's the only thing that's not here. Um, but it's for her bows. Her bows are like getting out of control. And so I wanted to get her a really pretty um, personalized bow holder. And so I got this one and um, yeah, it's going to be so fun. I'm so excited to put this up for her because she, uh, I love having her bows. Um, but anyway, I think it'll look really good in her room. Um, and yeah, so I got her this bow holder. I thought it was practical, something that we could definitely use, um, to organize things better. And it was really pretty. And so that is everything for Hazlyn. Next, we are moving on to Gunner. He is my two and a half year old. So the very first thing for Gunner, I'm going to insert a picture is a balance board. We're getting him a, we got him a balance board. I just thought this was something that was awesome. He can use his imagination and creativity and do fun things on the balance board. He can sit on it and read. He can climb over it. He can put it like on the from the couch to the floor and like walk over it. He can do all kinds of things on this. And I've seen so many people rave about these. And I thought it would be awesome, especially because we homeschool and because he's always around us when we're trying to school. So we always need something fun and creative for him to do. And I think he'll really enjoy just like sitting on it, bouncing on it, doing whatever he wants to do on it. But it's like, I feel like it's right up his alley and I think he's really going to like it. So the balance board is his Santa item. So that is what Santa is bringing Gunner. So for Gunner's one category, he actually really, really wanted this Paw Patrol car. Um, so it's rubble. It's the ultimate construction truck. He loves construction vehicles, anything construction, and he likes Paw Patrol. He doesn't watch Paw Patrol, but he likes Paw Patrol. So um, we got him this. This is something he wanted. He asked Santa for this. He has talked about this. Like this is something he definitely wanted. Um, 
So we went ahead and got him Paw Patrol. This is like so cute. He's going to absolutely love that. For Gunner's need category, I felt like we needed some more games for him. Um, because he we love to play games and a lot of the games are a little bit too old for Gunner So I got him this game and it's the um, Shark bite game and I'm really hoping that this is gonna work for him, but um, Anyway shark bite I figured this might be something that all the boys can play We have like the sneaky snacky squirrel game that he likes we have games that he likes but I wanted to get him like something new um, because we love playing games. We play games all the time and it's fun. It's something we can do as a family It's um, and it's not junk. And yeah, so anyway, Shark Bite is the game that I got him. Um, so that is for his need category because like I said, he needs stuff to do sometimes. He's my wild one, so we always need to make sure we have stuff for him to do. He also needed a jacket, but my sister is getting that for him, so he's getting a um carhartt jacket from her uh but anyway something to wear we got him this adidas like jumpsuit type outfit it's super cute it's from costco actually um and it's just so fun he's gonna love it he loves clothes my kids all love clothes so anyway got him this for his wear item oh for gunner something to read i got him this book it's good night good night construction site it's the number one New York Times bestseller. It had really good reviews and he, like I said, he loves construction trucks, anything construction. So he is going to love this book. Um, and we read, we read books every single night. So, um, and all day too, <laughs> we read books all the time. So, um, yeah, I think he's really going to like this one. So last but not least for Gunner's make category, I did get a, him the huge set of Melissa and Doug wooden blocks. Um, that he can build and do all kinds of things with. He loves like the big um, Legos. And so I wanted to get him some really good wooden blocks. So we got him the Melissa and Doug wooden block set, which I know he's going to love. And then I also got him this Melissa and Doug primary lacing beads. Um, he knows all his colors now, but I thought this would be really fun for like when we're reading, um, just to keep him busy, keep his mind going, um, has the string and you lace the beads through. And so I think he's really going to like that. Okay. I lied. One more make item. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> all right. So anyway, I got him another make item. Apparently I think this was supposed to go in his stocking, but then I realized that it was like huge. So I got him these squigs, fun little suckers. So... These are, it says creativity toy like no other. Stick them to any smooth surface and you can kind of just like make different things out of them. These had awesome reviews too and I just think he's going to like this. He likes anything that he can like build and destroy and yeah. So I got that for Gunner too. Okay, that is everything for Gunner. Next, moving on to Deacon. He is our five-year-old. He just turned five only thing Deacon asked Santa for like the only thing he didn't even want anything for Christmas honestly like he is just he's so sweet he's like mama whatever Santa brings me I'm gonna be grateful for and I was just like my heart he's just the sweetest so anyway Deacon asked for this Toy Story 4 Lego set he loves Legos so much so he's gonna love this he wanted this so bad so this is what Santa is bringing Deacon next thing is his want category and for his want category he also wanted a Thanos toy um like the action figure so he is getting Thanos from Avengers he like loves guy love, loves his guys we call him his guys he loves like action figures and little like people loves all that so he is getting Thanos for his want since Deacon's want was just that Thanos thing, um, I did end up getting him one more thing because the Thanos was like really inexpensive and um, I felt like Brantley had a lot more and I just don't want him to be upset um, when he sees that he has a gas dirt bike, even though I don't, I know he's not going to be upset. Brantley actually was so sweet and just like gave him his electric dirt bike and Gunner or Deacon has a electric four-wheeler. So like it's fine. He's going to be excited. He actually had wished on his birthday that Brantley would get a gas dirt bike, but anyway so i know he's not going to be upset but i want him to just feel like i don't know so i did get him another um toy with the thanos and that is this fortnite four-wheeler guy so it says fits two four inch figures so anyway we have tons of like fortnite guys but that is also 
for Deacon. So next for Deacon's need, he does need sneakers. He actually did pick these sneakers out. Um, but so these are kind of a well want to, but they are also a need because he does need sneakers. So these are from um, Dick's Sporting Goods and they're just these red Nike sneakers. He is going to love these, but he really did need sneakers. So he is getting those. His something to wear. I got him a couple things. So I got him this. We're, we live in Pennsylvania. So, um, we're Philadelphia Eagles, Flyers, Sixers fans. Um, so he's getting this Flyers t-shirt, which I know he's going to love. My kids like love sports. He loves hockey. And then I also got him this Sixers sweatshirt. Like I said, I know he's going to absolutely love these. And then from Costco, I got him this sweatshirt. It's like a camo um, and gray and it has like the Sherpa in it. Um, this was just really inexpensive from Costco. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, the boys will love that. So I just grabbed this for him too. So that is his something to wear. Um, instead of something to read, I did a game for him. So he really actually wanted this plumber pants um game so i went ahead and grabbed this because he's like our comedian he is so funny um so it doesn't surprise me that he wanted plumber pants as his game but um yeah so he's getting plumber pants for his game instead of like something to read we have tons of books we got a ton of books um given to us just recently like bags like trash bags full like four trash bags full so we absolutely do not need any books right now um, so he's getting this game, plumber pants. Okay, and the last item for his make item, he, so technically he shouldn't be in kindergarten, but he is in kindergarten because we homeschool. So, um, he knows how to like spell and read. He's already starting to read. So, um, I got him this. It's like a picture with like the letters and then you have to like spell it out. Um, so anyway, I think this will be really good just to teach him like how to spell things and, um, just recognizing different words and sounds so um i got him this and this is from amazon okay so moving on to brantley um brantley is our seven year old um and for his santa gift he honestly has been begging for a gas type dirt bike he has been saving for a gas dirt bike but kyle and i agree that santa does not bring that expensive of a gift and it's not fair if santa brings that expensive of a gift so he has literally saved hundreds of dollars for this gas dirt bike. He saved all his birthday money. He saved money that he got for Disney um, from family members. He has saved a ton of money um, and we paid for the rest of it. But um, he is going to get a gas dirt bike, but that is going to be from us. That is going to be his want from us. We already got it. Um, it's still at the store. We have to pick it up on Christmas Eve. Um, but anyway... He is getting that, um, and Kyle and I talked about this for a long time, but we just feel like it is something that is totally going to get used. We have a electric um, dirt bike and electric four-wheeler, and those the boys ride them all the time. Um, and being that we have four kids, uh, we think that this gas dirt bike is going to get used. So we thought it was a good investment, and so we got him a gas dirt bike. He is absolutely going to lose his mind when he sees it. He's probably going to cry, honestly. He kept getting money um, for his birthday and everything, and he would just get so emotional over it. He would feel so grateful because he's trying to save for this gas dirt bike. So he's getting that. That is his one item, but his Santa item is a Fortnite Nerf gun. This is Brantley's Nerf gun. This is what he wanted so bad. Besides the gas dirt bike, this is basically all I wanted was this gun. So Santa is bringing him this um, Fortnite Nerf gun. So for Brantley's need, since he is getting the gas star bike, we got him some goggles, gloves, like the whole outfit for um, his gas star bike. So he's getting the whole entire outfit. So this is his um, need because he does need goggles and then we got him a helmet that matches this. So he needs all the gear for the dirt bikes. They were having like a really big sale on all their clothes and stuff. So we just went ahead and got everything because we knew he would want all that. So next for Brantley for his wear, um, we got him a flyer shirt just like we got Deacon. Because like I said, my kids like love sports. And then the same sweatshirt that Deacon got. He's getting and the same Costco Sherpa hoodie. 
um, that Deacon's getting, he's getting too. So like I was telling you guys, instead of something to read, we really don't need any books right now. So we got him this Ticket to Ride First Journey game that had amazing reviews. Like I said, my kids are really into games right now. So I know they're going to love this. And also it's like getting to be winter time here. So um, yeah, this is like perfect for when it snows or just any time really because we play games all the time. So hopefully you like that. And then last but not least, I did get Brantley, which he asked for actually, were these Koba Bands um, bracelet making kit. Because he really likes making these bracelets. And this is like pretty inexpensive off Amazon. So yeah. Hey you guys, so I'm sitting here and I'm wrapping everything. And um, I just wanted to come on here really quickly and say something because I didn't mention this. I was trying to hurry and do the whole video because I was trying to get it all done while he's almost sleeping. One, about the dirt bike. We told him that we were not buying him this dirt bike unless he worked for it, saved for it, and that is what he did. And so um, while some people might think that is just crazy, we weren't just gonna buy it for him just to buy it for him. We felt like he needed to work for it and that he needed to save for it so that he could appreciate it and be more grateful for it. Um, because it's not something that is cheap. So I just want to mention that. And then the second thing is I'm seeing a lot on YouTube but like the holidays, spending time with your family. And while that is great and that is what we are going to do and that is how we are going to celebrate, it is about Jesus. And that is the main reason for the season. Sometimes we just need to be reminded of that. And not only that, we just need to be grateful and, and feel thankful. And that's why I was feeling like a little bit conflicted that like Santa's bringing like I just I just want my kid my children to understand why we celebrate Christmas. Um, and anyway, I just want to quickly mention that because I'm looking at these gifts and I'm feeling just like I just hope my kids are grateful for these things because they are entitled to our love and they are not entitled to things and things do not matter. Love matters. Being kind, serving, loving people, loving God, loving each other. That is what matters, not all these gifts. And I just wanted to put that out here really quickly. But anyway, okay, back to the video. Okay, one more thing I wanted to mention is we took, I took Brantley shopping at Target to buy a gift for all his siblings. So he got Deacon a Fortnite Nerf gun. He got Sissy just a little teeny um, like $3 Minnie Mouse car thing. We got Gunner a baseball bat and a ball, like a soft baseball bat and a ball. And then I also took Deacon shopping for his siblings. He picked this out for Brantley. Brantley already wrapped his presents, so that's why I don't have his here. But um, Brantley, or Deacon picked this out for Brantley. And it's so funny because um, Brantley also picked this out for Deacon. And I ended up getting it because Deacon didn't get as much, like I said. So... They both are getting this and then he also picked out the Fortnite Nerf gun for Deacon. So Deacon's getting two things from Brantley, but it's okay because whatever. He was just excited. He was like, he needs both. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So Deacon also picked this out for Gunner, which I think is so awesome. It was like such an educational thing. I don't know why, like what made him want to pick this out, but I thought this was awesome. And also like, it'll be great for Hazlin too, like as she gets a little older. Um, but it's like a learning word book and has colors and spanish and early vocabulary and stuff like that um <clears throat> so i thought this was sweet and then for hazelin deacon picked out this which is a picnic basket toy which i'm sure you guys have seen before but um yeah so he picked that out for hazelin we have to wrap his gifts. He has not wrapped them yet. So anyway, I want to share, you, share that with you guys. And then last but not least, I want to share this with you guys. And this is just a milk and cookie set that I got from Target. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because it was um, $15. It's pretty inexpensive. Um, it says cookies for Santa and then it says milk. And I just thought this was a sweet set that we could um, like have for years and years to come. Because we usually just use whatever we have. But I think this will be cool. It's like have a tradition and use and use like a fun plate and cup and then I can like pass it down to one of them or keep it for my grandkids someday. I don't know. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. That is everything that I got my kids for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'll leave a link for everything I can below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making up Christmas memories.